Shortly after my first match, I started to have at least one match a month. Now, that may not seem like a lot, but it was still a cool thing. I mean, I was training three times a week, Saturdays and Sundays at 6 a.m., which was a brutal, brutal schedule for a teenager. I mean, working late, going out with friends, it was very hard to follow it. And then also Wednesday nights at 6. And honestly, a big, 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 big part of my uh, early years in wrestling was a success due to my dad being a major supporter of me. He always drove me to practice at 6 a.m. I have no idea why I made him go with me, but he wanted to tag along. And I thought it was cool that he would be at my practice from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. every weekend for a year. He would always be there, you know, sacrificing his own time to get a little bit of sleep in. And um, he would always go to my match. To this day, he still goes to my matches, and he's a big supporter of me. Um, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. And I really owe a lot to my dad. I think that's really cool that he supported me so much. So yeah, I started to gain a little bit more experience wrestling some matches. I was put in a tag team called Heavy Artillery with a guy named Cobra. And we had a feud. It was my first, I guess, mini feud in my career. Uh, shortly afterwards, I ended up going on my own, feuding against them, doing some you know, basic matches with the other students at ACW. Shortly soon after though, the training was taken over by three people named Slayer, Spiro, and the UK Kid. And UK Kid actually took charge of the training. And these guys came from the Shawn Michaels Wrestling Academy. So in a way, I kind of got secondhand Shawn Michaels Wrestling training. And it helped me become a lot better of a worker. These guys put us through the grinder. Practice wasn't as easy as it used to be. I mean, we used to show up, just stretch, roll around, run a lap, and yeah, get in the ring. But now we were doing hundreds of squats, hundreds of push-ups, hundreds of crunches, running till we puked. And yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it was tough. I hated it at first. I used to dread going to practice because I would just be so sore, so beat up. I would be puking all the time, constantly. Uh, the UK kid, Tom Jones, is uh, the guy that I attribute a lot of my fundamentals and solid skills early on in my career. He's very, talented worker. He still works over in the UK. I owe a lot to him and in fact he actually got me my first experience beyond ACW at PWI, the company that I mentioned earlier in the documentary. My first match outside of my comfort zone was against UK Kid himself and we went pretty good length of time. We went like 15-20 minutes and he called it in the ring for me. I was a nervous wreck and I think it went fantastic. It was so much fun. Uh, one of my most favorite and memorable matches I ever had. And at the time, I was living on a high life. I was like, man, I am so freaking awesome. And granted, he carried me and he helped me put the match together, but I couldn't thank him enough for it. It was a very awesome experience. And I, I had pink kick pads. That's one funny memory that I have of it. But it was cool getting to experience uh, a different type of feel working at a different company from what I was used to and you know the match went so well that I actually got more bookings at PWI which was cool I started to gain some more experience uh, as time went on um, situations came up where I decided that it was time for me to move on from ACW some misunderstandings some miscommunications it's all been put under the bridge now but at the time uh, I had to go out on my own and it was kind of rough being a you know about nine ten month student of the game and leaving where you were I guess were taken care of at the time I didn't see it but I went out on my own and attempted to wrestle at various places and I saw just how inexperienced and green I was Yeah, it was, it was really rough. I went to Dallas area, wrestled a couple companies, and trained with my friend, uh, Travis, a little bit. Um, but we shortly went under the wing of Mad Dog Ken Johnson, Dusty Wolf, and Tommy Gunn, 
who all worked for PWI and other local companies just for a little bit. Um, we practiced in Tommy Gunn's backyard in the wrestling ring that PWI used and we really worked our asses off. I mean, we had great chemistry, we connected, we could just go tick for tack in the ring and unfortunately Travis didn't really stick it through with uh, the wrestling as much as I wish he could have because he was a natural at it. At the time it was just me and him doing our own thing and we were just trying to work our asses off to make a name for ourselves and we went the hard way. Looking back I probably should have just stayed it out at ACW. You live and you learn, right? I gained a lot of very useful experience during this time. Wrestling guys of all types of varieties, guys that weren't really so great, guys that were, I guess, local legends, guys that actually were about the same level as me. It was a definite interesting type of uh, environment going out of your element, going from having people call every single aspect of your match to going out there and learning how to do your own matches. It was a very nerve-wracking but very necessary experience. I learned sometimes in wrestling you do have to go out on your own and I met a lot of people this way and I'm friends with a lot of them still, friends with not some of them, but you know it was a very big growth experience. One memory of mine that definitely sticks out around this time is that my dad and my grandpa um, came to see me and it's a small memory but it was the only time that my grandpa ever really came to see me wrestle and after the show they gathered a lot of people from the crowd in the ring and I can remember trying to help my grandpa get in the ring and he was just smiling from ear to ear and he was having the hardest time climbing to the ring but we uh we got him in there and we all took like a group photo and just looking back it was it was real nice to be able to have that that moment with my grandpa um i could tell he was really proud of me and that was that was a good experience after trying for a couple months on our own i had a crazy idea in my head hey, I should start my own wrestling company, and I'm kind of glad I did not. Um, at the advice of my original trainer, UK Kid, he told me I should look into going to Rudy Boys to train how to wrestle, and well, I decided that after trying to do it on my own, I was going to go get trained at the Texas Wrestling Academy.